Live updates on the Ukraine war, top Ukrainian officials are killed in a helicopter crash, and Zelensky calls for Western tanks. On Wednesday, the Interior Ministry's top officials perished in a helicopter accident in a Kiev neighborhood. On January 18, this morning, a state emergency service chopper crashed in Brovary. The minister, the first deputy minister, and the state secretary perished in the crash, according to Ihor Klimenko, chief of the Ukrainian National Police, who posted the news on Facebook. In Brovary, the aircraft came down close to a residential structure and a kindergarten. The accident's cause is being looked into, according to Ukraine's emergency services, the crash claimed the lives of at least 17 persons, including four children. In other news, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, may be preparing to declare another wave of mobilization as his country attempts to bolster its military presence in Ukraine. As early as January 18, according to researchers at the American think tank Institute for the Study of War, Putin might launch a second mobilization wave to increase his army. Last week, Ukrainian intelligence authorities stated that they thought Russia was getting ready for a second round of mobilization. At the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky advised Western nations to send tanks ahead of Russia's upcoming offensive. Analysts worry that the Kremlin may soon begin a fresh mobilization push, which would put additional pressure on the nation's Western partners to send highly armored vehicles to Kyiv. Zelensky stated during a video conference that the world's mobilization must exceed the next military mobilization of our our common enemy, air defense systems must be provided to Ukraine before Russia launches its next missile attack. The supplies of Western tanks must keep up with a new Russian tank invasion, he continued. 